Hey guys, it's Sean O'Connell, the managing director here at Cinema Blend, and I had to hop on the computer because there is a rumor burning through the Marvel Cinematic Universe fan base that Robert Downey Jr. might be coming back to the MCU. Before we dive into this, do me a favor, go down and hit subscribe, turn on your notifications. Every single time something happens in the MCU, we're going to discuss it right here. We want to make sure that you don't miss a single video. So there was a vague report on Deadline over the weekend that Robert Downey Jr. might show up in the Black Widow movie that is planned to come out in May of 2020. And if you think about it, it would make some sort of sense. The Black Widow movie is a prequel film that's going to take place before the events of Infinity War and Endgame. And spoiler alert, if you haven't watched those films, and for real, I'm going to give away something really major, Black Widow and Tony Stark do not make it out of Endgame alive. So, of course, this is a prequel, but we really don't know 100% when on the MCU timeline the Black Widow movie takes place. Sebastian Stan was rumored to have said at San Diego Comic-Con that the events of the Black Widow film will take place right after Civil War, but before Avengers Infinity War. And if you don't recall at that time, the last time we saw Black Widow on screen in Civil War, she was helping Steve Rogers and uh, Bucky escape from Germany so that they could go after the villain um, in that film film. And of course, by aiding Steve Rogers, he's essentially at odds with Iron Man. So we're assuming in the Black Widow film that she's going to be going rogue uh, on her own, but not meeting up with Captain America just yet. They will eventually form a team that we will be reintroduced to in Avengers Infinity War. But what happens to Natasha when she's on this mission? I assume that's what the Black Widow movie is going to get into. Now, everyone's jumping to this conclusion that this means Robert Downey Jr. is going to play a significant part in the Black Widow film, similar to the way that he was a co-star star essentially in Spider-Man Homecoming and served as a mentor to Tom Holland's new Peter Parker. However, I think that that's bogus. Um, I don't see Robert Downey Jr. coming back to the MCU in any significant part, especially after he got such a spectacular farewell in Avengers Endgame. It was a perfect send-off to that character. He got a very touching funeral scene. Of course, he had a final confrontation with Thanos. It was the perfect way for Robert Downey Jr. to go out and bringing him right back for one of the next immediate films, if you don't count Spider-Man Far From Home, would be a cop-out to the way that they wrote Robert Downey Jr. out of the MCU. Marvel's trying to show that these characters can stand on their own outside of the existing characters that helped get the MCU up on its feet. Uh, to immediately backpedal and say that a Black Widow movie needs someone like Robert Downey Jr. to carry it, and especially in a way that Tony Stark has been so significant to even the spin-offs of the MCU, primarily Spider-Man, and you know the um, the villains in both uh, Age of Ultron and uh, Thanos have had significant links to Tony Stark as a character. I don't think you need Tony to keep showing up uh, in the Phase 4 movies. That would be a mistake to continue to lean on him. It's time for these characters to really branch off and go in their own direction. However... The report on Deadline is super vague, just essentially saying that Robert Downey Jr. is rumored to appear. And if it takes place in the timeline after Civil War, then I could easily see some sort of scenario where Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark just shows up on a computer monitor or potentially on a television screen where he's talking about the fact that they're still pursuing Steve Rogers and Natasha and everybody else who is a member of Team Cap. Um, this could be something that's very briefly filmed. It could even be archival footage that they have of Robert Downey Jr. to just show in the background. I think if they used his likeness to show that Tony Stark was still around, that's fair game. Like, you're part of the MCU, you're always going to be part of the MCU. It's okay to use those characters to fortify the world and solidify the fact that Tony Stark is still a relevant character in this story as it's happening. The MCU is really happy to have this cohesive timeline where movies can sort of lead one into the other, and if they do a prequel, and this is one of the first times they're doing a prequel that will fall in between existing films on the timeline, then it does make sense to use somebody like Tony Stark. He would still be around at that time. In fact, not to show him in some form would be a little bit odd. Um, but again, I think it's just going to be a really brief sort of mention of the fact that Tony is still out there looking for these people. And that's why Natasha essentially has to be on the run and complete whatever mission she's going to complete in the MCU. It's very important to note that this is not coming from Marvel themselves. Disney has not made any sort of announcement that Robert Downey Jr. is part of the cast of Black Widow. This is just a rumor that came up uh, up on Deadline, and they are continuing to push that story forward. 
And I just wanted to step in because it seems like people were getting really carried away by either uh, reacting super negatively to the fact that Robert Downey Jr. is coming right back to the MCU after leaving an endgame, or guessing ways that the Black Widow movie can use him. If they do use him in some way, I think it's a very small way just to sort of remind people who are casual fans coming to see Black Widow of where this falls in the timeline, that it's a prequel, that Tony still is alive at the time of this movie and is potentially uh, on the hunt for Steve Rogers and Black Widow herself, played by Scarlett Johansson. So what do you guys think? Is this overreaction on the internet's part? Is it one line of dialogue from a deadline report that all of us are jumping on because we love Marvel news? Or is Robert Downey Jr. really going to be back in a significant role in the Black Widow film? The ball is kind of in Marvel Studios' court, and we will wait to hear from Disney to see if Downey Jr. gets announced as a co-star for the Black Widow film, which is currently shooting and heading towards a May 2020 release date. While we wait for more news on that film, go down and hit subscribe under notifications because we're posting videos like this all the time on Cinema Blend's YouTube page, and we want to make sure that you guys see every single one of them.